forest here in, in eastern Kentucky and central Appalachia are the second most diverse ecosystems on earth um, next to tropical rainforest. This is blood root. It uh, has iodine in the root. It used to be a commercial source of iodine. That's how they got the iodine. Black cohosh. It's a uh, used in estrogen medicines. It's a marketable herb. Grows grows real well. There's some more right right next to you. This is some golden seal that I dug from another part in the place in the county and brought in here to transfer or transplant. Uh, this is it here. This is a valuable herb. It's uh, second to ginseng in marketability and value. We have like in this one area here, um, I see uh, there's one, two. There's just where I can, just where I'm standing, I, I can see a dozen uh, or a half a dozen trees, different species of trees. And that's not to mention uh, what's on the ground. I see spotted geranium. That's actually a septic. You can dry, you powder the root, and it'll stop bleeding. There's hundreds of medicinal plants in these woods. I mean, these hills are basically pharmacies. A lot of diversity in in, in function and and form. But um, when you do a surface mine, you eliminate these organisms. If for one reason you just take away the actual physical earth that they exist on that goes away <clears throat> But also a lot of these species are dependent on shade. They're shade loving species a forested slope here And then a valley that comes out and then another forested slope one Acts as a as a as a, as a buffer against the Sun So it shades the other if you take the top off of it then it allows the Sun to shine through and it changes your ecosystem completely and it takes away the ability for for a lot of these species to survive. I've not seen anybody saying that there's any indication of the forest coming back into a, into a form that will facilitate the, the life that exists here on, in and of itself.